Hi, everybody. Welcome to the eighth episode of A Place for High Vibration podcast. I'm really excited about today's episode. I have invited Nathan Williams. He has a YouTube channel. He really is an inspirational being. I really love his vibe. And today we're going to cover topics like law of attraction, how we can integrate this law of attraction into our life, and also signs from the universe. So there's this thing like called synchronicity. And when you notice these things, it's like you become aware that there is a guidance, a higher guidance. So I'm really excited about today's podcast. Nathan, please say hello. Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. Um, I have my own YouTube channel, A Helpful Earth. Um, that's where sort of my journey of self-help and self-development really began. Um, it kind of started a long time ago after sort of a period of hardship when things weren't going so well within my life um, and I actually became quite ill. Um, and because of that, I in my journey of recovery, I started to see the world with a completely different perspective. Um, and that change in perspective is what allowed me to venture into the areas of work that I'm in now. So, yeah, that's basically wow. my story. Oh, okay. So, uh, yes, it's like the universe sends us, sends us these hard moments in order for us to really learn something and become a new person out of it. It's like you want to become more peaceful out of it. You are wiser out of it. You are smarter out of it. And it's so important for us to trust in those moments. And I, I, I'm aware that you have gone through some hard moments, but tell us, how, how did you manage to get out of this hardship moment? Well, um, it sort of took me, it was kind of like an epiphany, really. Um, I was in my recovery period. I was sort of ill for a couple of weeks um, and it got to a point where I said, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to do this anymore um, because basically what happened was I was partying a lot. I was living, you know, that kind of ludicrous lifestyle, which wasn't really working in my favor. Um, I wasn't really helping myself or other people in the process and I was living quite a destructive lifestyle and I believe that that way of being is what caused me to become ill it's what made me um hospitalized for, for a couple oh. of weeks oh yeah so and then uh that road to recovery is when um I started to I almost started to reprogram my mind because I knew that it was my own actions that caused me to get into that position so yeah. i saw that the negative effect that it had on all the people of me becoming ill you know i'd hurt a lot of people's feelings and made a lot of people upset so i literally made a conscious decision whilst lying in bed one day to, to not be like that anymore uh, and i stood up and i was like right okay what can i do to make a difference and all of a sudden when I made that decision, things started to change for me. And I started to wow. see all the signs and the synchronicities that actually I wasn't alone all along. And I needed to go through that hardship in order for me to see the world with a completely different perspective. Um, I, I don't see it with a negative light, that period of hardship. I, I look at it like it was a benefit to me. Like I, I really got a lot of positivity from it. Of course, we we don't have to judge our past. I have been, I have also actually, I have I have also been hospitalized, and I felt like re, like really going crazy. And out of it, I have gained self control, self control, and most importantly, what I have gained is self love. It's like I'm obsessed with loving myself. I'm obsessed with even low, loving the low moments, the fear, the resistance, anything. And um, you were talking about signs. I'm, I'm receiving signs almost every day from the universe, like, if not every day. And I see that these numbers reflect my, my way of expressing myself, my, my consciousness, actually. And it leads me forward towards what I want to create towards. So it's like there is this higher guidance from the universe. But let's move into the first topic of today, which is the law of attraction. Could you tell us a bit more about that? What is that for you? So, um, as I said, on my road to recovery, um, I started to change my life for the better. So when I started to interact with the world with a different way, the world started to interact with me with a different way. 
um, um, I was very negative before and quite destructive um, and things would never work out for me you know the doors that I of what I wanted always seemed to be shut and I, I did you know I, I was successful in some areas but not in the areas that I truly wanted in my life not when I if I'm being honest with myself now I, I was kind of working down a path that I didn't really want for myself but that change in perspective that change in behavior all of a sudden allowed me to attract all the things that I wanted to in my life and it made me realize that just by me interacting in a way where I was giving <laughs> out positivity helping people being kind when I can, trying to be as giving as I can, the universe would give back to me. And I kind of realized throughout the process that the universe is kind of like your best friend. You know, if you yeah. treat your friend, if you treat your friend with, you know, if you're mean to them, if, if you're unkind to them, then you're going to receive that energy back naturally. Right. Of course, of They're going to be like, I'm not going to, give you any of my time I'm gonna not make help you in any way um, but when I started to interact with the universe in a positive way and I started to be like you know what I'm gonna do this to help the world I'm gonna do this to help the world the universe was like I'm gonna do my best to help you of and course, I started to of course. That positivity back yes. um, yeah and, and um, yeah I, I started to sort of research into the law of attraction a bit and I realized that actually it was a thing um, you know and, and lots of people actually believed in in that same same way of being that I believed in yeah so law of attraction is like I'm aware that I attract what I feel I'm aware that I receive what I put out I'm aware that the universe is a reflection of me so what how, like you said however I am treating the universe it, it is however life will treat me back which is very important for sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, what well, kind of, what kind of actions do you recommend for people to take if they are in the beginner mode of, of being in the law of attraction? What do you recommend for people to do if they are not successful? How can they actually create their own way into, into this reality? Maybe. So, um, I would start small really. Um, yeah. You know, if, if you want to change your life in a big way, then you have to start taking baby steps. Yeah. So I would suggest just doing something kind for one of your friends and your family and notice how positively it affects your emotions. Because, you know, it's all well and good saying, oh, right, I'm going to change the world for the better. But you're obviously not in the position to do that right now if you're not able to attract mm. simple things into your life. So when you start doing the small things like, say, I don't know, going over your family's house and helping them make tea, for example, you'll notice how positive you will feel after doing that act. Yeah. And then you'll realize, actually, you know what? I drew in those emotions because I gave a little. Um, and when you start small <sighs> like that, you can start building your way up then. And you can start, you know, making your way to sort of, because I find that when I started changing my life for the better, I started to find the avenues that I was interested in, you know, and I think the law of attraction is all about starting small, working your way up a little bit at a time. And as you work your way up, those doors start to open up for you and you discover yeah. yourself more and more and more and more. And eventually you'll realize that, you know, you we're good enough all along and you can do exactly what you want to with yeah. your life. Yeah. Um, and that was part of the discovery that I made whilst on my journey of the law of attraction. Wow. It was discovering myself. What a cool story. Wow. Uh, yeah. Starting small. I, I have also, I have had to start small actually. And I've realized how much I have grown, not necessarily externally, even, even that has happened, but internally. And I think it's so important for us to grow the inner world first, because the outer world is only a reflection of what we think, what we feel and what we do, maybe. So it's so important to start looking within yourself, asking yourself big questions like, why is this happening? Why am I feeling this way? Yeah. How can I, what can I do in order to improve? What is my purpose here on the planet? And the universe, if you ask these questions authentically and honestly, the universe will have to respond and you will get like inspirations. I have to do that. I have to help this person. 
I have to express myself in this way. And I think everything is important in a way, how we do it and what we do. But at the same time, I, I always talk about the state of being. Like if you are not content with yourself, with where you are right now, with the consciousness that you have, with the emotions that you have, it's like it will be so hard for you to progress. So it's like find that, that state of completion where you are right now. Find the state of completion and realize that you have everything that you need. And most importantly is that happiness is an emotional thing. It is not related to outer world. It is not related to your accomplishments. Maybe it is related to your accomplishments in a way, but it is an internal job, an inside job, you know? Yeah, it's, it's like you said, it's just appreciating the present moment um, and realizing that you have everything now and all you ever need is here and in you at this present moment yeah exactly so important super important it's like everybody i i feel this in the world that people are are not content with where they are right now and that is a big mistake because the the only way to get more i i speak about this in my videos is like the only way to get more is to take your consciousness and place it into, into the present moment and actually look around yourself and realize what you have and be grateful for that because uh, you say, I want more money, but look at look in your fridge, you have food. I want more friends, but I'm sure you have a good, a good friend or two. I want a girl. I'm sure you can get that. But appreciate what you have and realize that, again, happiness is about emotional things. That is so important. Yeah, sure. I totally agree with you on that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm so curious about signs. Signs. What What do you think are some signs from the universe? In what way does the universe speak to you, Nathan? On. Guys, sorry, we lost connection, electricity breakdown, and we are ready to go back into the podcast. So, Nathan, please. Yes, I think it's divine intervention. That anyway. <laughs> um, I just seen five, five, five on the clock. So, I guess it's a sign. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a sign, I guess. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, so, um, yeah, during my period of recovery, I started to see um, these number sequences, uh, specifically 1111, quite a lot. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, and weirdly, I was born on the 11th of the 11th. So, oh, you're, you're a Scorpio? Uh, yeah, I'm a Scorpio, yeah. No, nah, I'm a Scorpio as well, 2111. No, no 21 November, no <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, That's strange. Um, yeah, so I, st I started to see these numbers. and I thought it was like the universe showing me my birthday. And I was like, okay, why am I seeing this over and over again? I wake up at 11 minutes past 11. Um, I'd see it on, the num on number plates. I'd see it in books. And it started to become like more than a coincidence. Yeah. Um, so I ended up Googling it, as you do, Google search. And yeah. uh it turns out loads of other people were experiencing exactly the same that I was. Exactly, exactly. And I, and I was like, oh my God, this is the thing, you know, lots of people are experiencing this. And, and it turns out that many people say that, you know, you are being communicated to at some kind of sign. Um, and th that's when, you know, my eyes really began to open that we were being guided every single day. Um, and these numbers would just start presenting themselves in, in really, really powerful ways. Um, I'll give you an example. My subscribers are probably fed up of me giving this example because I've given it so many times. But um, our, my parents were sort of on the brink of splitting up. So I went for a drive to clear my head. Um, and I drove into a random town. Um, and I had just then topped my car up with diesel fuel. Um, and it was a new car. And because my head was all over the place, I didn't realize that it was actually meant to be unleaded fuel that I was meant to be topping my car up with. Um, so I broke down in this town in the middle of nowhere. And, and at the moment, I was like, how can things get any worse? You know, my parents have just pretty much split up. Uh, my car has just broken down in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I don't really know what to do. And out of nowhere, I don't know why, but I just decided to press the radio. And I turned the radio on and all of a sudden, Bob Marley, three little birds started singing, you know, every little thing is going to be all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, How cool. Yeah. Wow. And, like um, an honest message from the universe. And I have a question for you. Do, do you actually know what 1111 means spiritually? 
Um, I know what I always say with 1111 is, you know, that there are lots of interpretations out there, what it may mean in terms of numerology and things like that. But whenever I receive the message, I always tell people to just interpret the numbers yourself in that moment. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But uh, what, what the guy said in a YouTube video, he said that 11, 11 is like two portals. And when you see this number, it's like your consciousness is entering a new state. It's like you're okay. entering through a portal. So I guess that is exactly what happened to you. You were starting to see 11, 11, and now your consciousness has changed has changed for the better, I think. So oh, eleven wow. eleven is like a portal, you know, and you're entering. Yeah. I have heard that actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like you're. It, it's a powerful number. I also see it sometimes, and it really yeah. brings me brings me back into the present moment and focuses me into the present moment. But please yeah. go on with your story. So you you said that you opened the radio and the song came up and he sang yeah. everything's gonna be all right. What what yeah. what came next? So. Basically, the song started playing and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give my car one more try. And I turned the ignition and it fired up. And this was after me trying it over and over and over again. And it just, it just fired up first time. And I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> wow. And then I drove home. And as I pulled into the drive, the numbers 11 and 11 were on the clock. <laughs> um, and Yeah, yeah. And, and I got out the car and everything was all right, all right, weirdly. Um, you know, my parents, they had split up, but they came to like this mutual agreement that, you know, we weren't going to argue about it. And, and it actually worked out really, really okay. Mm. Um, I'm glad. And I, I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you. And I, and I truly believe that, you know, we're all receiving this kind of guidance every single day. It's just many of us are we aren't aware of it. We're quite closed off as many of our, the, the societies that we live in. We're living these, these kind of fast paced lives and we, we're distracted by what's on the television and we're distracted with what's going on in the media. Whereas if we just sat down and just experienced the present moment for what it is more often, I think we would notice more and more how, you know, we're really not alone and, and we don't have to walk this path of life alone. How oh, cool. So it's like uh, these numbers, these synchronicities are here to tell you that there, there is your higher self or your spirit guides or anything are here to protect you, to guide you. And like you said, we, we, we live so much based on the external world. It's like, I want to have a lot of subscribers. I want to have a lot of likes on my photo on Instagram. I want to have a lot of girls, but we have forgotten about the inner happiness and the authentic happiness. Like you said, uh, helping somebody or being grateful or creating something beautiful for yourself and for the world how cool yeah yeah precisely and, and that's literally where my youtube channel began it's just the idea of helping people which i'm sure is exactly where you come from you know you come yeah. up with this come from a place of love and you've started up something uh, and you're growing it day by day and you know, I, I wish you all the best with your channel, man, because I, I Thank know, you. Thank that, you, bro. I, I know bro. that you will succeed with it because you are a very, very humble person. And, and you know, I, I'm sure a lot of people will connect with you. Uh, yeah, even though sometimes I get, maybe I get too spiritual with my message and maybe not a lot of people understand it. But I am sure that whoever is supposed to understand and watch it will actually watch it. So... I trust, I trust my YouTube channel, even though I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I do it because it's so fun. It's so fun. And at some level, I think I actually help people, you know, and it, it, it was so far, it was the best way for me to actually grow and expand myself. It's like after I have opened this YouTube channel, I have come, came up with the idea of being a public speaker. And I have yeah. actually spoken to events. And now I'm starting my own business, a meditation uh, center. Uh, based on mindfulness and workshops and me being a public speaker and maybe coaching. So, uh, guys, if you, if you really have something, one thing that you enjoy creating, keep doing that. Even if it's painting or something, even if it's listening to good music, keep doing it. And the universe, if you feel good, you will, you will come up with new ideas of creating yourself and loving yourself and connecting to all kinds of new people. So, 
my advice would be have one thing that you are passionate about and keep following that and the moment that you follow that it is like the universe has to respond we are here we are here with greater purpose than we think and we are really here to have fun on the planet so um what do you, i have another question what would you recommend for people who are finding themselves in hard moments what what should they do actually um I, I don't mean to sound harsh to people who are going through periods of hardship, but sometimes it, it takes an honest look at yourself. Uh, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, am I really living the life the way that I want to live it? Because mm -hmm. that's what it took me. You know, I had to be honest with myself. I had to say, I'm not going to do this anymore. I am going to take responsibility for my own life. You know, I got myself into this mess. I ended up being hospitalized because I made these decisions. I'm hurting the people around me. And I believe that I came here to thrive and not just survive. And I'm, I'm going to try my best to thrive in my life and, and give what I can. Because at the end of the day, you know, you have a short period of time to be able to influence the world in whatever way you can with the, the God-given abilities that you've been given from birth um, and you're either going to waste them or you can do your best to sh let yourself shine. Don't worry about what people say or think about you. Um, you, know, you have to just start thinking about that when you're going through those hard times and it might just click something in your brain like it did for me. Um, and like you, buddy, you know, you said you were hospitalized and stuff. And yes. it was a big three times, <laughs> three times in a year. I have been hospitalized three times in a year. It was the hardest period of my life, actually. Oh, my and goodness. And I, I don't regret it, but it was actually hell. But go on. I, yeah, sure. Go on. I'm, I'm sorry that you weren't through it. I, I Thank you. I, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. And yeah. I have, in that period of time, I have actually learned to question myself and to love myself, which is so yeah. important. It's, that's what it does, hardship. It strengthens you. And you know, they say that the universe often puts uh, some of the hardest tasks in front of some of its strongest soldiers. Um, exactly. You know, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, wow, I, I really love this one. I really love this one. So the yeah. hardest task is in front of the hardest, the strongest soldiers. I love it. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So, you know, if you if you have gone through hardship like you have, then there's purpose for it. There's a reason for it. You're being strengthened so yeah. in the future when you need to carry out whatever task you're going to carry out, you'll be ready for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, I'm wondering, do you have any question for me? Yes, I do, actually. Um, when you were going through your period of hardship, um, did you see any sort of signs and symbolism like was there anything that was helping you through it or did you feel quite lonely or yeah. i felt like uh, actually going crazy i felt like going really? crazy. I, I felt my are you familiarized with the word chakra yes yeah chakras crown chakras and down to your... yeah yeah i felt that my chakras were actually dying and I was in a crisis spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. And at that time, I didn't, I didn't actually question myself. And in that craziness, I just began to act. And um, I, know, I know I was protected all along. Uh, I know it happened for me. But I have really learned some cool wisdom out of it, some cool tools in order for me to actually grow and love myself. Yeah. It was a hard period of time, but I didn't see any signs, actually. No, I didn't see any signs. I wasn't focusing on that. No, sure. But all I can what say about is, you? What about your story? Did you see any signs? Yeah, I was seeing, well, actually saying that, probably when I was actually hospitalized and I was in hospital, it, it, like you said, you are focusing on the worst, aren't you? So you're yeah. not seeing it. And I, you know, I was hallucinating, I was seeing horrible things, but it was the period of recovery when I started to see things mm -hmm. um, and I was a bit more open to it. Um, but, you know, all I can say is, man, it's, it's such a commendable thing for you to be here sitting in front of a camera and trying to change the world for the better after going through all of that, you know, and yeah. I know how it feels to be like you are at rock bottom and like there's, there's no, feel like there's no way out because, you know, 
it can fit it, you feel like you have no hope don't you um yeah, but you, you clearly have an incredibly bright future ahead of you and, and and i just wish you all the success thank you i wish you as well mm. thanks bro thanks buddy <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. We, we, we we so guys remember if you are finding yourself in a hard moment just begin to detach yourself from who you think you are and actually question yourself and really ask the universe to give you some guidance. And maybe the, the, the way out of your depression is not outside, it is going in the depression. It is actually enjoying the panic attack. It is actually enjoying your mental breakdown. It is actually being with it, not resisting it. Just, just love it, appreciate it, and be yourself in it. You are getting stronger and wiser out of it. Yeah. You know, you're going through it for a reason, you know, and, and yeah. I think a lot of the time it can be amplified and it can become worse when you try and stop what you're going through. You're putting up that resistance, aren't you? And you're like, I don't want this. I don't want this. Why am I going through this? Um, and actually, that can make you think that what you're going through is a bad thing, when in reality, it's necessary for you to become stronger and, be and become better. And like you said, you can actually embrace the process of whatever you're going through. Yeah. Um, I know that, you know, I'm someone I've experienced high levels of anxiety throughout my whole life. And one thing that helps me get better with anxiety is just the thought that, you know, if I can just embrace those feelings as they come to me and realize that they're coming to me for a reason and I don't mm. need to resist them, then the anxiety actually relieves itself a lot better. You know, yeah. it's just a part of life, you just acceptance rather than rejectance rejection maybe uh, a spiritual teacher said that maybe there is a lesson in also resisting the pain maybe you have to learn yeah. something out of that as well yeah so yeah in either way you are getting stronger out of it you are building yourself in that moment and you realize that it is happening for a purpose and maybe you have chosen this thing in order to expand yourself Maybe your higher yeah. self is like, okay, you need this experience for me to come back in and, and for you to actually become your highest version, your highest self. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes you, it's, you know, yeah. sorry, sometimes it's, uh, I, I tend to question some of the experiences I have and it's so easy to point the blame and be like, why am I going through this? Why am I going through this? Yeah. It's but easy to do that. that yeah. That, that, that way of perceiving life, it's not what's going to help you grow you know you're just going to be closing yourself off and you'll never be able to grow because you'll just be forever pointing the blame and you won't be able to take responsibility for your own life for what you are going through exactly. and, that, and that for me is key taking responsibility for everything you are going through every emotion you know i'm going through this because it's just part of my growth just yeah embrace it and and it really will help you move forward I'm sure of that. I'm sure of even though in those periods I, I actually haven't thought about these things. I was just going insane actually. I was just yeah. going I was really depressed. So it was a, a really big crisis for me. And yeah. I realized that I had the ability to make the conscious choice to actually stop this. I had the ability to make the conscious choice to actually stop this and I have yeah. actually stopped. And then it happened again and again. And then I really stopped. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm here. What can I do? What do I have around myself? How can I focus my attention in the things that I actually love? How can I relax myself more? How can I be more instead of doing and doing and acting and acting? How can I find a place of consciousness within my own being that is comfortable and strong and that accepts what I feel, you know? How can sure. I love myself? Yeah, that, that's part of the journey, isn't it? Self-love. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Self-love yeah. Self is I, super important. Yeah, and I think that was what caused me to go through the suffering I went through a lot of the time was because I felt like, well, personally, my hardship came about because I went out drinking, I went out, you know, partying, but that all came from when you get to the root of it me not believing that i was good enough so i drank <laughs> away my problems and, and I, I i ran away from my issues whereas you know if i had just 
said, you know what, I am good enough. Um, and and I, I can do what I want for my life. I don't have to live this way. And I think things would have been a lot different. But it was the lesson that I had to go through. Exactly. Exactly. It's so important to trust. To trust. Because there is this thing called divine timing and divine interventions. And I feel like my life has happened with purpose so far, actually. Even though at, at that moment, you don't really understand what is going on. You don't have the bird's eye view to understand it. But when you, when you become aware in your future, you look back and you say, wow, maybe, yeah. maybe I have created that at some level in order to learn something, you know? I like that. You don't have the bird's eye view in that moment. That's yeah. actually so true because you're, st you you're, you're stuck it with the blinkers on, aren't you? And, and you don't see what the, the bigger picture exactly exactly yeah. okay bro uh thank you for being here with me man uh no, maybe if you. you if you have anything else to say for the viewers all i'll say is um you know this this has all been about law of attraction signs and synchronicity and, and we've dived into hardship a little bit just to perhaps if you are someone that hasn't practiced the law of attraction before then as I said earlier, just start off with something small tomorrow. Just make a decision tomorrow to make a little change, a little tweak in your day. And just notice if it makes a big impact in your day. Because I often sometimes realize that the smallest <coughs> tweaks give you the biggest impact in your day in a positive exactly. way. Yeah. How you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do if you said this? I'm going to start moving more into my body, more physical exercise. I'm going to start doing that. Just a small yeah. thing. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe 30, 30 push-ups a day. I'm going to start doing that. Maybe a run. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. your inspiration. No, I appreciate that, man. Um, it's, it's been great to hear your story. I didn't realize that, you know, yeah. the, what you we went through. We, we actually had some, type, some, some kind of the same story. We have actually both been hospitalized. And then we had uh, like an awakening or something after that yeah. or before that or who knows. Yeah, it's strange uh, that, you know, we, we've kind of connected in this way. <laughs> and <without Yes>. real <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about your story before. No, no, I didn't know about yours. And funny enough, this is my first ever interview with someone. So oh, okay, um, cool. this was a good one to start. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do another one in the future. I'd love that. Okay. For sure. Thank you, maybe Nathan. I could interview you on my channel. <laughs> Say what? Maybe I could interview you for my channel at some point. Of course, no problem. We could do that. Yeah. I'd love that. I would really love that. Nice. Yeah, it's great. Okay. We'll arrange it. Yeah, we'll arrange it. Uh, okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you have reached this minute, we appreciate you. Thank you for being here with us. We cover topics like law of attraction, science from the universe that maybe you're on the right track, or science from the universe that the universe is trying to teach you something. Uh, also, hardships and hard moments, which I think is super important and beneficial. So in your hard moments, trust, 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 and question yourself and realize that that is happening for you. So again, thank you for being here with us on, the, on this podcast. Nathan, bro, thank you. And uh, keep up the good work. You have an amazing YouTube channel. I'm going to post it in the description of my video. Thank you for being here with me on the podcast. And I had an, an amazing time speaking to you. Thank you for your insights, for your wisdom, for your inspiration. And keep doing the, the, the work that you are doing, bro. It's, it's been a pleasure. It really has. Thank you.